point until um, you know until the board knows of, uh, uh, fiscally uh, uh, of where we are. Uh, to answer Jeff's question, I think the department heads should do a 17 and a half percent reduction on their budgets. So the board and the administrative office, hopefully with a with an additional some additional strength in, in the. Um, uh, uh, in the budgetary area within the administrative office, can take a look at what the consequences of those uh, reductions uh, would be by department, because in the end, the board will set the priorities and it isn't going to be equal, the pain is not going to be equally shared by department because uh, of, of, uh, it, it's not going to work that way, but we need to have a starting point from which to uh, from which to operate and know what the consequences of various courses of action of, of will be. But I can't believe that there is going to be a solution uh, without a meet and confer process, and I think that meet and conf confer process is going to permeate all the discussions the board's going to have on the budget. Uh, until we get we get the meet and confer component uh, 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 determined, and obviously the, the the final analysis is if if meet and confer and and, and the like don't work, uh, uh, you know, I suspect the final of, of result will be the elimination of positions. Only it's not going to be like last year, where everybody knows whose positions gets eliminated and whose doesn't. At least I hope it isn't. And so I hope that everybody would be willing to um, um, share in the pain of, for a solution. Uh, and I would just like to end by saying, uh, you know, when, when I first came on the board in 1984, everybody was at, in retirement was a 2% at 60. There was no 3% at, at, at 50. There was no 2% at 55. Everybody was 2% uh, uh, at 60. Uh, and now we've moved along to the point where one of the reasons that, uh, 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 you know, the private sector basically is getting to the point it can't support the costs uh, of, of the government sector we have because it, the government's the cost per employee of the government sector has gone up so much and the number of employees have gone up of, of, of so much and so there isn't anything wrong with with uh, 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 trying to readdress some of those basic uh, inequities they've had some some uh, uh, shows on the TV lately showing the level of compensation for government employees versus the private sector. And, you know, 15, 20 years ago, why uh, the private sector compensation was much greater than the government sector compensation, but people enjoyed the government sector because of the added security, which may be in doubt today, uh, and also the, uh, the benefit package that was so much greater than the private sector. That's no longer true today. They've done studies now that show that the government sector employees uh, are, re are receiving a higher rate of compensation, or many government sector employees are receiving a higher rate of compensation than uh, the private sector, uh, along with a, a, a heck of a lot better benefit program than the private sector. Uh, so, you know, and you can even look at our county. I mean, l look at the compensation out in our county, look at the compensation of our department heads and even our deputy department heads, uh, of, of, et cetera. And, and uh, uh, you know, they, they've done studies on how many people are retiring now with a retirement of over $100,000 a year paid for uh, by the private sector. Uh, and it's astronomical. And, uh, the idea that, that somehow nobody should give anything and that the solution is bigger and more money into government is not the solution. And like it or not, the reality is that the board is going to have to make decisions and either the, the, the employees and the unions, et cetera, will sit down in good faith and, and negotiate a solution or the board will be forced to, to use the uh, uh, tools that are available to it to balance the budget. So those are my comments. Thank you, Mr. Tryon. Okay, there's, Jeannie, are there any issues outstanding that you need direction on? <coughs> well, I heard three votes for the reserve and contingency for the current as well as the bullets. Not to pursue, um, I don't know that I heard you had two on the fees. Right. Didn't. No, correct. And then what about the TOT? 
Uh, I'd like to talk about the fees. Um, I, I'm really uh, convinced that uh, California is uh, driving business away because of the cost of doing business here. Uh, I, I think that we should probably uh, collectively look at the fee structure to see if there's a possibility of lowering some of the fees to attract business, uh, to, to encourage business rather than raising fees to further drive them away. So you know, I, I'm, I'm very much in favor of looking at the fees with, to accomplish both purposes if possible. And, and on, the, on the TOT, I think that the, the train has left the station to uh, get anything on the ballot measure for this November, hasn't it? No, no, not for November, Je probably June, or too early. June, June, June is too early. June, not necessarily November. Again, so I again, I have two no's, one possible yes. Well, I think on the TOT, the, what I am going to propose is that we need to meet with the, with the chamber, with the Visitors Bureau. I mean, we just need to have discussions versus whether we're going to support or not support a ballot measure. I don't think we have. Okay. I don't I, feel we have enough information now. Um, okay. Because That's I think there needs That's to fine. be a strategy. Did you have me down as a, as a yes? Because I'm, I'm very much in favor of pursuing the TOT. I have you down as a yes. Okay. <laughs> Well, I, don't I guess I'm a no. At, I'm a no at this Tom's point. A no, Thomas, right. a no. Right, Gary. Um, I'm a yes. Right. Okay. Steve. On, on the TOT. T yeah. I've stated my position a number of times on this. I, yeah. I think the way we approached TOT before was uh, more particular to one part of the county than the other. Until we get a TOT allocation that is more equitable, it's impossible to pass in this county. Okay. So you're no. Well, I want to see the, I want to see a plan. I'm for an increase in TOT. I am opposed to the way we've approached it. Uh, now, I, you can say okay. that. Right, right, right. Okay, there you go. That's clear. <laughs> yeah. That's no, I, I, I don't want to spend I, I, a lot of time and energy yeah. and money yeah. on a, on another yeah. suicide yeah. mission out there in in the. So, so you're along with Marita, and we'll talk to the yeah. visitors bureau in the chamber and see if there's yeah. any support to run a campaign. If not, so there's we'll, a one we'll no drop it from two. The let's we'll bring talk it back. And two yes. Okay. Okay, I understand that. All right. Uh, now, as far as the the proceeding with the 1011, I understand the need for closed session and where we want to go with that. But in terms of giving directions to departments as a starting point, um, I would suggest that we give directions to the board for the 17.5 percent because we have to start somewhere. Okay. There's been two. Where are the rest of the supervisors on that? That's important. I'm supporting. Okay. okay. Yes. Thank you. Shirley, anything else that we've missed? <laughs> okay, thank you, um, staff. We really look forward to having you work with our CAO.